I welcome all of you on Enforcement Day 2014, an event which commemorates the 58th Foundation Day of the Enforcement Directorate. I would like to especially welcome our overseas guests, Mr. Vladimir Nechayev, President of the Financial Action Task Force, FATF, and Mr. Mario Michel Afentranger, Chief Negotiator for International Mutual Legal Assistance Treaties in Criminal Matters, Department of Justice, SWIFT Confederation. The Directorate primarily enforces two legislations, the Prevention of Money Laundering Act and the Foreign Exchange Management Act, PMLA and FEMA. We aim to enforce these laws without fear or favor. However, we are seriously short of manpower with only one third of our 2,064 positions being filled. Accordingly, our officers and staff have had to put in a lot of extra effort. As a result of this effort, I am happy to say that we have succeeded in recording our best ever performance in investigations in the year gone by. In 2013, we were able to complete 1,836 FEMA and PMLA investigations as against 1,288 in the preceding year, with a mere 5% increase of staff in this period. The backlog of FEMA adjudications has also been brought down drastically. I am very glad to be here as we celebrate Enforcement Day this year on the 1st of May 2014. From a humble beginning on the same date in 1956, the Enforcement Directorate, or the ED, as it is generally known, has long come of age. Today, it is a premier investigative agency of the country. It has developed into an organization which is invariably entrusted with the task where fair, impartial, and thorough investigation is called for. In any case, where public confidence is either shaken or in a case which for one reason or another has become high profile, the ED normally gets involved. In short, the ED has built a reputation that inspires confidence and respect both within and outside the country. The Director's report listed significant milestones that have been achieved over the last one year. The Directorate deserves appreciation for its accomplishments. However, there are pending issues and even major irritants that did much to impede output and efficiency. As pointed out, a large number of vacant posts plague the organization that directly contribute to a fall in output. This requires immediate redress. Moreover, it may be appropriate to even consider special incentives for officers and staff working in the directorate to encourage greater, greater achievement. I'm very happy to be here today on the occasion of the Enforcement Day. As Revenue Secretary has pointed out, on this very day in 1956, this organization started operating and every year it is being observed as its Foundation Day. To celebrate Foundation Day in one way is significant because it gives us an opportunity to pause for a while, to reflect, and to make an assessment from where I began, and where we are, and what is our future action plan. From that point of view, I do feel Directorate of Enforcement can be congratulated by all of us because the track record of this organization since its inception is excellent. 